All right, let's talk about adding new cells into your collection view. This is going to be really, really awesome. So let's get into the demo immediately. We'll talk about that in the demo. All right, my friend, our image, our app so far, will look quite boring if we only have these images. So a lot of times in your app, when you have, for example, an app that downloads images from the internet, from a server, from a backend, then you want to do something like you download one or two image and then usually you want to download a bunch of images, right? But what happens is downloading some images, for example, in some apps that we took on in Total iOS Blueprint, I teach you how to build a, um, what is that? How to build a Foursquare client app that you can download restaurants information from Foursquare API, put that in beautiful table view or beautiful collection view and map views. Or uh, we talk about how to do a iTunes search, store search, library or we talk about in socialize your app how to build uh, instagram how to build nike e-commerce store those kinds of app we have to download stuff from the internet and then we put those into collection view or table view and a lot of the time you want to handle handle the case is that you want to download like you get one image and then you put that image into the collection view immediately or the tail view immediately or you want to insert new items into the collection view or the tail view so that is what we'll talk about we of course now we are using prototyped data so that it will simplify our process we don't have to worry about connections and downloading and those stuff so that everything is simpler but remember just keep in mind that these techniques will help you when you do your uh, full scale app okay so now this is how the complete project looks like by the way we have this plus button and then i just want to when we click into this add button we'll have a new image show up nicely animation fade in like that you see that and the um and we just add a random image at that time and then in the first section you can do it in, in in any section but we do it in the first section so that we can test it out and then all the other images all the other sections will move down accordingly so let's do this let's add the plus button over here so we have a, this guy a search for a bar button item drag that bar button item to the screen change this thing the system item over here instead of custom into add so that we have the add like this and then open up the assistant editor for our with that photos collection view controller like this and then let's have several things number one let's have our um i don't think that we need an aisle outlet for this so let's just have a target action so let's have a mark here but above your ui collection view data source let's have a mark called target action and then we drag this thing to the screen like that and then we do add new item the tab remember that you have to change the connection into action and then connect those cool all right so that is how you have the target action that is so simple right so now what we want to do is we add some code into this add new item so here um, i'm going to um, let's have the first category so because we want to add the first images right the first the random image into the first category so let's get the first category image names the image names in the first category so we do photo categories subscript zero dot image names and then let's do random index let random index to be um the random index all right so we want to have a random index out of this random index to be an int arc for random like that modulus the first category images names dot count right so that this index is already within the bounds and then we want to do is let random image is going to be the first category image name subscript random image like that all right now we have the random image our first job so the first job we just did is 
Number one, get a random image. Number two, what we have to do is we have to add the new image into your data source or data model. Oops. To your data model, right? And number three, what you have to do is you have to update the collection view because there is a change in your data source. So that is three things that you have to do. Number two, let's add the new image into your data source. So photo, category, subscript. Now I want to add it to the first section. So zero, dot image names, dot append our, what is that, append our random image like this. Oh, we want the image name, right? So random image name. Random, random, this is random index. Random index, random image name, random image name. Okay, now what we have to do is step number three. Step number three is we want to insert a new row into the collection view. But there are two ways to do this. Number one, it's just you can just do collection view dot reload data like that. And if you run the app now, it will work. Why is it? Because we have the newly updated data source and then we call the collection view that reload data and this thing is going to reload, reboot the collection view all over again. So now, if I click into this, you see that it shows up like this, right? You see this? It has the new image, pops up like that. Pretty cool, huh? But now the problem is, it will look kind of like not so good because it doesn't have any any in animation. And the fact is, when you call collection view dot reload data, it's going to reload the whole collection view. It means that it will going to call all of these methods all over again for the UI collection view data source. So it will going to have new sections, all new collection view uh, items in section, and the queue all new rows, all new items. That is bad because imagine what if you have videos. Imagine if you have like so much heavier photos. Imagine if later on you even have like 3D images or virtual reality or was that 360 videos. Those kind of data is really heavy. You don't want to do that, especially when you have to download stuff, streaming stuff from the internet. This is a bad way to do this. So let's do it another way. The other way to do this is we are only to going to insert that certain item that we have over here. We're going to insert that certain item into our collection view. And we're going to dequeue only that cell. So here it is going to do that. Let's insert it index path to be our index path like this with the item the item is the like the index of the item in that section, which is our first category. Oh, you know what? That is going to be the random index. Right? Oh no, it is not the random index, but rather where do we want to put our image? So here I want to put it in the last row, last row over there. So let's do it. So we want to do what is that? We want to do um, last row, right? So first category image names dot count so that we insert that into our last item like this and then the section the section we want to do the zero so you can insert into the first section and finally we call this is the key collection view dot insert items at an array of index path but we only have one index path how can we have an array of index path? Yeah, we only have an array of one index path. That's going be cool. So now let's run the app and see how it looks like. Everything should work now and everything everything should look great now. So here we go. Click here and boom. You see that? Beautiful, isn't it? Very nice. So that is how you add cells in your collection view. Now this time, we do it really simple because I just want to demo for you how to add things like that because we, and we just add the first cell, right? Now, if you want to do it in other sections, then you can do it 
or you if you want to like insert the cell in a specific index path you can do it too the basic strategy is that number one you add that thing into your model the data model number two you add that thing into your collection view and number three you update the collection view so that the collection view knows that it needs to refresh the ui so that is the three steps i hope that you enjoy this in the next lesson we'll talk about how to delete things that is what we are going to do delete things because a lot of time you have photos that you want to delete your friends that you want to remove those kind of things so let's do that in the next one